In today's video, we're gonna create a food promo intro in After Effects just like this. Create a new composition by clicking this composition, new composition, and set this to 10 seconds and rename this to text. Okay, and grab the text tool or T on the keyboard and type in your text. Align it to the center of the composition. And let's create a new composition again. This time we're gonna hit Control N to create a new composition and rename these two bg for background and stretch this to 30 seconds hit ok and i'm going to drag and drop the background image scale it to fit the composition scale it down hold down shift while you scale this and i'm going to create another composition Control n to create a new composition and i'm going to type in here table which will be the planks okay and I'm going to drag and drop the texture of the planks here and scale it to fit the composition all right now that you have the background table and the text we're gonna composite them together in one single composition right so we're gonna create another composition control N final com all right so we're going to composite everything in this final composition. So what we need is the background, which will be a 3D layer. Let's turn this 3D layer on and the table here, which will be a 3D layer as well. And we're going to need a camera, right? So we're going to stick with 28 millimeter. Hit OK. And after creating the camera, we need some kind of controls over the camera. So I like to create null object, which is a 3D layer as well. And I'm going to pick whip this camera to the null so that this null becomes the controller of the camera. So I'll rename this, select the null, hit enter and rename this to cam controller right so all right now that we have everything set we're gonna set up the scene hit R to bring up the rotation and we're gonna rotate the X rotation to 90 or W to bring up the rotation and and you can grab this X handle here and you can rotate it like this make sure to hold down shift on the keyboard that will snap it like that right so hit V to select the selection tool and grab the Z axis and push it down like this. We have the table and the background at the same position. So we're gonna push the background away from the table. So hit P on the keyboard, selecting on the background and we're gonna grab this and push it away like this. And I'm gonna scale it up again like this and I'm going to select this table and hit P on the keyboard and bring it towards the camera. We're going to extend the table and the background later in the video so stick till the end. So once you have that scene you need a text which we already created drag and drop the text and make this a 3D layer as well but it's very static so we're gonna go inside the text and we're gonna create some animation on this text right so by the way I should have done that earlier let's do it right now collapse this select this animate position and move this down collapse this range selector go to advance and change this shape to ramp up and we're gonna animate the offset from a negative 100 to maybe at one second and set this to 100 
and that animation, right? So go to the ease high and give some values. You can experiment with your own. I'm gonna go for 4060 and you have that. And you can go back to the final composition here. Right now you see this. So it's very flat, it's boring. What we're gonna create is some shadows and some kind of lights inside this, right? So we're gonna introduce lights in this so that it will cast shadows on top of this table. So create a light, which is a spotlight and set this intensity and make sure to check this cast shadows and hit OK. The moment you hit OK, you have introduced a light. We're gonna adjust the lights. Make sure when you were grabbing the lights, if you're grabbing the handles, it will move only in that axis, like so. So make sure you grab somewhere here, grab somewhere here, that will enable you to move the camera freely like this. Let's leave this for now and let's go inside this background and we'll, we're gonna adjust some of the material settings for this layer, right? So hit AA on the keyboard and we don't want the background to accept lights so we're gonna turn it off right away you can see that and we're done with that and select the table and hit AA to bring up the material options. We want the accept lights on, accept shadows on, that's fine and we're gonna select the text hit AA and the cast shadows option is off right now so we're gonna turn it on and right away you can see this shadows what I'm gonna do next is extend the table here so go to the effects and presets and type in motion tile and I'm gonna drag and drop it on the table and check this mirror edges. We're gonna mirror the width, so increase this, so it will fill that gap, right? So what I did for the background was add a fast blur to that background. Fast blur, check this and increase the fast blur like this. And what I also did was create a new black solid and move it to the very bottom of all the layers and select the background layer hit T to bring up the opacity and lower the opacity a little bit so that you have kind of a very dim background that will eventually make the text pop a little bit and you know nice if you want to control the look of the shadows you're gonna go to the light double click on the light and you can always come here and adjust this darkness you can see that how it increase and decrease the darkness of the shadows all right so now that we have the scene set up and ready we're gonna work on the animation of the camera because without the camera animation it looks flat and boring and there is no depth in this composition right so we already created the camera controller here so we're gonna let this camera stay here and we're gonna control everything using this camera controller, which is a null object and a 3D layer null object, right? So hit P on the keyboard to bring up the position, animate the position and zoom in a little bit like this, right? So zero, set a keyframe on the first frame here in the timeline, go a few frames maybe here at about one second zoom it a little bit here right so select all the keyframes right click keyframe assistant and easy ease or f9 on the keyboard and right after that we're gonna hold the keyframe for a while so go few frames hold down shift and hit page down one two three four five six six times and set a blank keyframe by clicking this after that we're gonna move the camera to the right so what I'm gonna do is hold down shift and hit one, two, three, four, five, six. Page down six times. And I'm gonna move this to the right until this disappear, right? So hold on, no worries. We're gonna fix this in a while. It's very easy to fix. 
I'm gonna select this, go into graph editor, and I'm gonna tweak it like this. Go back to the normal timeline. All right, now that we have that, we have a problem out here and nothing is visible here. So we don't have to create another light because we already have this. So the trick to doing this is you have to parent this light to the camera, right? So pick whip and camera. And now if you move the camera, the light will follow it, right? So now we have another problem which is the background so we already fixed the table so copy the motion tile Control c and paste it here the background so that fixes that very easy very easily now that we have this we need the the main foot item menu so we're going to design that right now right so we're going to create a new composition you already know how to create a new composition well, that's right, control N. And we're gonna create this food item one, right? So hit OK. So we're gonna grab the food item, which is this. Select the layer, right click, pre-compose, move all attributes, and rename this to one, right? Hit OK. So we have the food one. So we already create a text here. We're gonna duplicate this text, right? Control D. So we have the text too, and drag and drop it here, which is this. We're gonna change this text. Go inside this and maybe pizza, right? And place this text somewhere here. Go to the effects and presets and type in transform, drag and drop it on the pizza. And I'm gonna skew it to negative 10 so that you have something like this. All right, now that you have the text and the food item, we need the price tag. So here I have the price tag animation. I'm not going to show you how to make this because I've already made a video tutorial on this. You can check this video and you can come back here and join me again, right? So I'm going to drag and drop these pre-comps, select all of this and drag and drop it inside this food item one. Oops here and right away you can see it's very big let's scale it down while selecting all of the layers and you can move it somewhere here and move this down one by one and reposition the timing move it the text even I'm going to offset the timing of the text here like that and just after that I want the price tag of 10 and hit page down once there and shift and page down once you can always come back and refine this right so you got the idea how to create this so now that you have all these things ready we're gonna go inside this final comp and we're gonna drag and drop the food item one inside this composition make this a 3d layer all right now the problem is that you don't have any shadows and it's not interacting with this scene right so we're gonna do the same thing like we did for the background and the table and the text hit aa selecting on the food item and we're gonna turn this cast shadows on so right away you can see this we're gonna select this and move it somewhere here so just after this and the pizza comes and the price it's very boring right now what i did in the original example was go back to the food item and i added some kind of you know up and down animation to this p on the keyboard to bring up the position set a keyframe hold down shift and hit page down one two three four five six and move it slightly up and one two three four five six and copy the first keyframe and paste it here or maybe shift it a little bit down one two three four five six and copy this and paste it here right so i'm gonna do one two three four five six and paste it again so i'm gonna delete the last one select all the keyframes right click keyframe assistant easy ease or f9 and you have this moving 
animation, right? So it makes it little nice, bouncy. So I'm gonna do the same for the food. Go inside the effects and presets and search for curves. Drag and drop the curves on the table and let's give a little bit contrast. And you can go and drag and drop this inside the BG as well to give a little bit contrast. Don't forget to turn on the motion blur for all the layers. All right, guys, if you love what I do and if you want to support this channel, you can get this template from the link below. I hope you learned something from this video. You can check out more videos here and I will see you in my next video. Take care.